I got pretty like a girl, and he got five stories to tell. I see both sides like Chanel, see on both sides like Chanel. Guys, I'm over Anna's. I'm actually not filming anything. I didn't come over here dressed and ready. I've just got myself dressed and ready. Filmed a video for Anna's channel, like I was saying, which actually went really, really well. We're now gonna go up to Callum's to retrieve Callum and then go to Phoenix to the event. But I'm not gonna take my camera off because I feel like I don't really have oh, any you're pockets. Not? No, like some. I'm bringing a bag. Well, oh my god, what would I have put He'd walk out the door like that. What would I have put in my bag if I didn't have my camera in it? Also, I've got. Your ID card? I've got nail glue. On my hand. It won't come off until you're like in the shower. But I've just been scrubbing my hands. Oh, it's not as bad as it just was. Are you joking? But it's it's irritating because it's in a crack. Do you know when you I bend? Just keep my bending finger? it like that, and it will pop off. I should have clipped my nails. They're looking a bit long, aren't they? Yeah. Look like yours. Plus, <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna go up to Callum's, retrieve Callum, and then get the party started. This is not what I'm wearing, by the way. I've got a little gilu. An event that has this in the bathroom for free. There's no one selling it. Oh, I got it. It's smelling fresh. Dinner party realness is happening right now, guys. Look at that bread. I'm just shoving a loaf in front of her. Oh. I made this myself. No, he did not. It's from Aldi. It's not from Aldi. I'm He's a liar. It's the boy's a liar. On my life, it's not from Aldi. I'm an Ethan nephew. He's like, it's not from Aldi. Liddell. It's from Liddell. Yeah. 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 Y
but two, I used to work here in Urban Out first for like three years or two years I worked here. But this was like our go to place to eat, to go to the cinema, to do everything. Me, Anna, Freya, and Haas. I lived down the road from here when I lived in London, and I've not been back since I moved out of London. And it's so weird how literally a shopping centre is so sentimental that like I go home all the time to the shopping centre at home where I spent a lot of my like childhood. But this just feels so weird, but like also really cool at the same time, I don't know. Anyway, hi everyone, I'm in London. Um, I'll actually speak to you properly when I'm not rushing around Westfield, but um, had some very successful fun meetings this morning. And I feel very inspired, so it's always great. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Guys, I've been here one minute and um, I've bought a reed diffuser from Zara Home and it's absolutely incredible. So first purchase, love it. Hello, my name's Bean. I love my friends and I love my family. <laughs> my name's Bean. Whoa. I completely removed the inner part and the strawberry pencils, so I've been left with the strawberry lace. Because I don't love these, but I love strawberry laces. And that is why you should never underestimate no, a woman. No, I'm supposed to be doing 75 hard. <laughs> <laughs> just to watch your life update, considering I've filmed loads. We just watched Harriet's travel hey, vlog. Josh, Harriet's videos. Oh shit. I thought it was really good actually. Why did you say Harriet? Wait, she's... can we watch Cartier's? She's the head school girl. Right I'm gonna now, do Vogue 93 old. questions. Okay. Hi Byron, thank you for doing 93 questions. Oh, Vogue. Right, sorry, I just Ooh. went off. Yeah. Uh, what's your dog called? I don't know. How many dogs do you have? Um, currently one living in London if and eight have, in Sheffield. If you could be any animal, what animal would you be? Um, the Loch Ness Monster. No! Does that reflect on your personality? Yeah, I like to stay hidden. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how long have you been living in London? Um, this is my second day. Okay, and uh, what's your favourite restaurant in London? Um, Joe and the Juice. Joe and the Juice? <laughs> yeah. Nice, 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 nice. What's your order in John Juice? Um, I either get a tuna cardo and add cucumber to it, or I will get a Joe's Club and add cucumber to it. Cool. With an Iron Man juice. Uh, what do you get up to on a daily basis? Um, just this. <laughs> Okay, that's really cool. Um, favourite destination to go on holiday? Greece. Greece. Oh, Byron Bay was so good. Byron Bay, Australia, right? Ah. Yeah, right. <laughs> favourite gay bar in London? Simmons. Favourite, Simmons favourite gay nightclub in London? Will you come with me to collect this camera tomorrow? Um, yeah, my favourite gay nightclub would have to be Shepherd's Bush Empire. Uh, favourite gay sauna? Argos. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, if you had one more day to live in London, what would you do? Probably go to WH Smiths. What would you buy? A pencil case. <laughs> <laughs> You've just nearly sat on the dog, you ogre. Put that vape in, I'm being dead serious. <laughs> She's doing head for her all. I'm doing sobriety. Oh my god, this is gonna taste. You're going grey. I think you need to brush it first, there's a lot of knots. Uh -huh. I don't know how, we're, how we're gonna go about this. Really? So what are you getting ready for? Um, we've got it's the, just like, it's so curly. We've got uh, an import, um, a surprise red carpet <laughs> event for Byron something, but we can't say what it is right now. So we're just testing our hairstyles. Yeah. <laughs> for, my a meeting, slip bun. for my meetings that I had today. Slip bun gold hoops. Hot stop of season five. That's <laughs> <laughs> so what I mean, like, the kings are just insane. Ow! Yeah, it's sorry, it's really fucking hot. It's because you're pulling my hair. It's really fucking hot. You're meant to let go at the end. Ow! Fuck, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> ripping them out. <laughs> Can you tell your child? Ooh. Well, ah! Why is Ida getting away? <laughs> ah! Hi guys, I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm um, at this hairstylist's house today. She, um... Can you just stop moving? Oh. Really, I'm gonna burn you. Sorry, I'm just a you YouTuber. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Stop! She's getting gosh. so close to my fucking ear. Alright, get this little camera away. Oh my god, I look like an anime character. You do? <laughs> it looks like I have a wig on. Sit down, let's stay with it a bit more. <laughs> it looks crazy. This is my hair.
Good morning everyone. Um, it's now the next day. I feel like I've not actually spoke to my vlog at all. I had a meeting this morning, lovely little coffee meeting. Me and Flossie are now walking to pick up her new camera. I'm actually going back up to Manchester today. I feel like I never even explained at all why we're in London. The last clip you'll have seen before this were me in Sheffield. Very few clips actually because I did in fact just spend the majority of Easter very hungover or very drunk, which is not sensible. I am now putting myself on a drinking ban. I came down to London to have a meeting with my management and then just a few little bits and bobs and I'm heading back today. I weren't actually meant to be staying last night. I were convinced by Josh and Flossie to stay and, then Josh, and then Josh left, which is always good. So we're meeting him later, oh, going to spend the day in London and um, convince myself that I shouldn't move here even though I want to. Everyone needs to go bombard Anna's recent Instagram post telling her that she needs to move to London. Anna won't move to London and I don't want to live in London on my own. So sad times. Anyway, I'm going to pick up my Flossie's camera. Dressing room. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> On the bean bag. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. Move this fucking chair out me way. Hi everyone, happy Friday. I am now back in Manchester finally. I feel like I've actually not been home in the longest time. I obviously went to Sheffield last Friday and spent the weekend there. Came back here for one night, went straight down to London. I came back to Manchester yesterday evening. I didn't realize my train were an off peak return. So, <clears throat> I just had an energy drink. <laughs> yeah, my train yesterday were an off-peak return and I didn't realise that, so I actually missed the gap where I could get a train, so I had to get a really late one. Basically didn't end up getting back home till really, really late last night. I just got straight into bed, had a full body shower, cleaned my entire room. I bought a reed diffuser from Zara Home, as you'll have seen. As soon as I got home, I wanted to put it out because it smells absolutely incredible. We have Shannon's engagement party tomorrow, so I'm just going to keep vlogging. I don't even know how long this vlog's been. I feel like I filmed nothing, but also at the same time I don't know what I filmed to the point where I could have filmed stuff. I've never seen these before. Never ever seen these before. I just went into the shop and bought myself some food obviously and saw this. I love Vimto. I think Vimto and Oasis are my two favourite soft drinks. In fact, I prefer Vimto Cordial that I can make myself because I feel like the Vimto in the bottles is made too sweet. So I like to make it a little bit less sweet when it's the Cordial. But what the hell? What the hell? I have in fact remembered what I was going to update you on. I'm having a nose job. I'm having a nose job. It's confirmed, guys. It's confirmed. I'm having a nose job. I mean... I'm not having like a rhinoplasty. I'm not changing the shape of my nose. Or at least I don't think it's going to change the shape of my nose. I don't think they can guarantee whether or not it's going to change the shape of your nose until they like go in and do it. Basically, I'm having a septoplasty. I have a deviated septum. Long story short. Long story short, it was clickbait. I'm not actually having a cosmetic surgery. I haven't been able to breathe. You might have heard me complain about this a lot in vlogs. I feel like when I was younger, I used to complain about it a lot. Or you may be able to tell in my voice some days. Some days I wake up and I sound so much more nasally than Others. That just depends where I'm sleeping, if there's a lot of dust around, pollen, blah, blah, blah. Loads of things obviously affect people's sinuses. However, I haven't ever, well, obviously, because my bone's covering it, that's what a deviated septum is. I have never been able to breathe properly through my nose, and I've always complained about it to my parents growing up, and they would take me to the hospital and take me to the doctors. I had so many appointments and saw so many different people, and they basically told me that I had something called nasal polyps. This is probably very boring. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I feel like I want to give backstory to what the fuck I'm on about. Tell me I had nasal polyps, which are basically like fluid filled bits of skin inside your nose. And when they become inflamed, they swell and fill with blood. And obviously that will block your nose and the airways. And that is what makes you feel and sound nasally. So for a very long time growing up, I was on like a steroid spray because it would shrink the skin and shrink the skin blood-filled sack in my nose. Sounds gross, but that's what it is. And obviously, it never felt any benefits from using those. That's a lie. I did feel some relief within like the first 30 minutes, but never enough for me to feel like, oh my God, I can actually breathe. But also, what I'm realizing now is, because it's my actual bone that's bent, I've never been able to breathe properly. So I'm excited to be able to go, <sighs> And it actually inhale through both nostrils. I'm telling myself I'm going to be so fit because I walk upstairs and get exhausted and I'm blaming it on the fact that my nose is closed in one nostril. <laughs> Good morning! 
Look at me and Freya have been such productive queens this morning. We've got up, done a food shop, I've edited a full vlog. I have also showered, sorted myself out, chilled in my room, done a food shop, just been to Aldi. And um, if you've seen the state at the bottom of my wardrobe, which I'm probably sure you all have in the background of everything I ever post, I literally was thinking to myself this morning, I took a photo in my mirror and thought, Ugh, the water, it just all looks so gross and my shoes are always crushed. And also, found these shoes in my wardrobe. <laughs> Yeah. A bloody phone. Found these shoes in my wardrobe, which I forgot I owned, but are so cool because everything's just piled on top of everything. And ever since I moved in this place, I always said I need to find some storage for my shoes. Eight pounds from Lidl. Is it Lidl or Aldi? Aldi. 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 So I got two. One for each side of my wardrobe. And hopefully, it says you can fit up to 14 pairs of shoes on here, but I really don't think that's correct because well, I have quite large feet, so I feel like I won't be able to fit 14 pairs of shoes. And I definitely don't own 28 pairs of shoes. Or do I? You definitely own at least 28 pairs I don't think I do. I Guys, look at the state of all the shoes in my wardrobe and obviously it goes, oh, just also ignore this. This is, everything's just a mess. But I'm trying to organize my life a little bit more. So mission, put up the shoe racks. This is the outfits that I'm actually taking down with me to Birmingham for tonight. I haven't tried them on. They very much need ironing, but I feel like this, this works. So we're just gonna not overthink it because I'll end up changing my mind. In fact, I'm gonna take a different pair of jeans as well. You're gonna have to ignore Freya's music blasting in the kitchen. Um, but I'm gonna open one first. I bought two, but they are extendable, it says. So I'm hoping that it's gonna extend far enough. It says it extends to 115 centimeters, but I feel like that's actually not that long. Um, so I did pick up two. <laughs> better that is. I mean, I don't know what's just gone off there. Some of the shoes have moved around when I've opened it, but everything nice and neatly organised. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Zero. 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 Yeah! Yeah! I just need to look at myself in them first. Uh oh. So we're not seeing them now. No, keep your clothes. Keep your I know! My eyes are closed! I'm so obsessed with these. Can I open? Yeah. Uh, do you not like them? Do you know what, actually? I don't hate them. They're I don't hate them. They're the best of them. Yeah. Bad bunch. They're the runners ones, though. Yeah. So when you do your 5k on the treadmill, you can wear those. <laughs> I'm doing them outside, outdoors in the sun. Guys, it's many hours later now. We have actually been here for probably like three hours, and I have filmed nothing, because we've basically just been sat around, had some food. I'm now dressed in red This is what I'm wearing. Very makeshift outfit. I love this shirt, but I got it off Depop, and it's slightly too small. So we're just rolling with it. I, <laughs> I'm just rolling with whatever outfit. To be fair, I'm saying that. I don't hate the outfit. Uh, uh. <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> Did you seriously get upset? <laughs> Right, that entire section is getting bleeped, so we're off to Shannon's engagement party. I don't know if Byron said, but I have indeed said yeah. that. Callum! Hi. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> Hello. Hello, Byron's vlog. Nice Hello, to see Byron's you. Vlog. I thought that we see you often, but. Babe. Nice to see you tonight. Hi, you all. Right, loving it. Okay. We're so. off to the pub. <laughs> Dressed in dresses. I'm actually really excited, you know, because I've not been to like a family function for a while. Like, my family. Anna but said earlier, do you play like games at an engagement party? I don't think there will be games. Really? No, I don't think there will be You'll games. You'll limp in the tail on the donkey. I really? told you. I told yeah. you. Stuff like that, no. Put the yeah. ring on Shannon. It's That's gonna be. Yeah, put the ring on Shannon. That's a good one. I think it'll be really like silly like games. Silly like games like fun like sleigh. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Anyway. You'll see what happens. Anyway. 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 Anyway.